SQL injection. Uh, so first thing is, uh, in order to understand, it's of course it's a web security vulnerability wherein uh, the attacker compromises the vulnerability uh, via sending uh, make use uh, make use of a vulnerability in the server if the server is not performing any kind of input check by sending an SQL query. Okay, by sending a database query to the server directly, and then it allows the attacker to retrieve the information which he generally can't see, which he generally won't be able to uh, retrieve right so information like customer information credit card information uh, personal information it could be even password credentials hash uh, combinations as well right and in case of a successful sql injection if the attacker is able to make any privilege escalation it can even follow or it can even perform the, de the denial of service attack where it can prevent the uh, genuine user to get the access from this to get served by the server wherein the dummy or dummy traffic will be available to the server and the, uh, when the uh, normal user won't be able to get this get the service from the server itself that would happen too so it could be a complete destruction in that situation it can even be make you made it can even be useful in case of long term compromisation like advanced persistent threat if the SQL injection is that powerful. It all depends on how strong you are with the SQL queries. Okay, SQL queries has been made for better purpose for managing the databases, for standardizing the way the databases are getting structured. But before you really uh, understand the SQL query, remember this: the purpose of database is to have a systematic systematic arrangement of information. Of course, you have on the one side you understand the storage, right? Just like your hard disk. You can just keep on storing your information the way you want it. But imagine a situation where you have a lot of random information, username, password, uh, address, location, interest, all those feet. You need sort of mechanism, sort of schema, wherein you can store the information in a such orga org, you know, you can organize the information so that whenever you want it, you can retrieve the information in a faster way. So that was the major purpose of standardizing the databases by making SQL queries, okay? But it can even be make you it can even be made use for the malicious purpose as well. And let's see how. So in, in the normal SQL query, I'll tell you how exactly the SQL query works. So I will be understanding in much more detail in the further session where I'll even uh, where I'll even teach you how to deploy the databases, then create the tables, then even make an individual entry into in the in the individual row as well, and then assigning the rights to the individual user. So we'll be doing that step by step in the further session. For now, you will be understanding the fundamentals to it, right? So let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing is uh, we have user and web server and the databases. So understand this way, uh, user, uh, for the, from the user point of view, it's just a website, okay? But web servers need a database to store the information on the backend. The purpose of web server is to serve very fast enough and efficiently, okay? But the information is usually stored in the packet database. And the database stores the information in a table format. So in our case, the table name is student, and it has got multiple columns, right? So ID, first name, last name, emails. So these are all the columns. And the user is, might be interested in retrieving the ID one. The data corresponds to ID one, which is for Arnaldo, and there are some information available for him. So he might might on the he might go into the browser. This information might be available on the website, right? So web server is having a website. On the back end, he is storing the information. User just log into a site, maybe example.com, and that's where it is asking for information. So if you see example.com is a website, then it goes to a certain uh, maybe or maybe a tab, maybe a tab on the on the top, and the tab he wanted to select the ID number one. That's where he get the information for ID number one. He just click on it. This information goes to the web server. Now web servers is just about uh, getting the data and give it back. You know, uh, it it is all about uh, uh, handling the request and the response, request and the response. So one the moment he get the request from the user. It is as a part of URL. If you if you're following me correctly, it is a get request, right? And he need the response against to it. Now this would be forwarded to the database in in a different format, and that's a database format. That's the SQL query. SQL query is used to retrieve the information. And this is the way it is being used. Select information from student where the ID is. Select any of them from the, the table basically where ID is one. 
it means the first information first row will be selected and that will be given to the user and the user then able to see that information on his browser so that's the way a SQL query usually works and that's the standard way of working and that's being used from years and years decade in fact the way it has been deployed now let's let's see how the SQL injection basically works this time we have a malicious user again the same web server same database and same table now malicious users in spite of sending the normal query uh, in spite of sending normal URL he sends a malicious uh, URL link he know about the students he knows about the, that tab student but with that it also adds some value this is that value okay ID is equal to one that is that is seems to be very much valid if you see example.com slash student uh, ID where ID is equal to one this is pretty pretty genuine this is there's nothing wrong with it but there's something very special just after ID is equal to one right there's a single column uh, column or one is equal to one that means show me the data of one or where or information where one is equal to one that means server will be converting it to a, an SQL query and will be giving it to the database will be going in very deep about what exactly this query can do in much more detail but just under that understand this way one is equal to one as will be true always forever right so that means I am true about all the entries so in that case uh, show me everything that matches right what's gonna happen is web server will be sending a query from a table where ID is equal to one or one is equal to one and then dash dash that means anything after this will be considered as a comment right so that's pretty much okay that's nothing to do with it but one is equal to one means I need just like uh, I'm okay with all the information uh, I need to uh, show me all the data where one is equal to one where all the entries are true yes it is not just one is equal to uh, ID is equal to one but uh, entries which are true so that means in all the situation entries will be true that's why the entire information entire database will be forwarded to the malicious user and that's how the SQL injection basically works so this is all about it we'll catch you in the next session thank you